Conan Creek. All I had was right here. And in the blink of an eye, it was taken from me. Harvey. I shall have my revenge on you! <sighs> where is he hiding? I've no idea where he went after the fire. Perhaps there's some trace of him where my home once stood. And one other matter weighs heavily on my mind. Right then, to work. Five years ago, it was reduced to ash. I ventured into the nearby forest to be alone with my thoughts. It was part of my daily routine. A bad habit. When I returned, everything was gone. I was seized by the town guards. And haven't been back since. Welcome home, my dear. I see the conference was a rousing success. <laughs> Indeed. Forgive me for being away so long. Welcome home, Papa! Oh, Elena, my dear. Aren't you tired? Let me take your things. A bit heavy for you yet, but uh, I appreciate the offer. Here, take this instead. What a pretty pen! Thank you, Papa! I searched all over, 
And I'm sorry to say I found nothing better to give you. Come now. When else can you bury yourself in your studies if not at a conference? Come, Elena. There is math to teach you. Yay! <laughs> oh, you too. Papa, wait! Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Am I? Say I'm home yet. I'm home. It's so quiet now. Time to search for clues. Harvey and I both sought the one true magic. He wanted my research, no doubt which would lead him to my study. As I suspected, my study is intact. And what's more, he's stolen every last one of my formulae. Were they ordinary spells, I would not miss them. The one true magic, however, requires vastly more complicated calculations. I built those equations myself, all but the last missing piece. Harvey, however, took a different approach. So why did he want my formulae? You there, who are you? Oh my. Oh, my, my, my. Lady Clarissa, my assistant. It's been quite some time. It is I, Oswald. Have you looked after the study during my prolonged absence? Hmm. Hmm. Oswald? You? What a fanciful tale. Oswald is locked away on Frigid Isle. No, I am here. I have escaped, as you can see. What proof have you? <laughs> you think me an imposter? You have his figure, but that is not enough. The research gathered here is a pile of riches to the people of this town. There are ruffians who would go so far as to impersonate Oswald if it meant stealing his work. What peculiar reasoning. One cannot arrive at the truth without considering every possibility. That is what the Oswald I know told me. <laughs> now. Hmm. <laughs> The real Oswald would know how to withstand my magic. And so the result of this duel shall determine whether you be true or not. My dear assistant, you never were the type to let go of a pet theory. Very well. I have no choice but to help you test your hypothesis and give you your answer. My odds. Here we go. Come on, then. <laughs> My prey awaits. Well, now. 
my turn. There. I need a play. I call down the light. Let's go. Go on then. My turn. But I won't hold back. Let me look at you. What to do? You're open. Wow. <laughs> Thinking time. Strike them down. My turn. So it goes. Magnificent! Are you satisfied? Such power! Yes, you could be none other! Welcome back, Oswald! Thank you. I hope I haven't injured you. If that were enough to exhaust me, I would have no choice but to forfeit my position as your assistant. I have always believed you were innocent, you know. Oh? On what grounds? On the grounds that you are who you are. I'm afraid I don't follow. <laughs> I am delighted to see you still take things far too seriously. So, why have you returned? To search for Harvey. I see he left no trace here. Harvey. You, Oswald, were the only scholar of magic present at the scene. That was the justification provided for the guilty verdict. Yet there Harvey was, standing before me while everything burned. And still they insist he was not there. So I must also suspect the guard unit that restrained me. I shall investigate their ties to Harvey. Your husband was a guard, yes? Might he know anything? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Oswald. Hmm. Then I shall ask the townsfolk. What will you do once you've investigated this case?
Let's do What's there? <laughs> What's there? As I thought, the guards are my best lead. It was Stenvar, their captain, who ordered me investigated. It is my understanding he had a clandestine meeting with Harvey before the incident. He ought to still be at the guards' main outpost. I shall seek him out. Lady Clarissa. You aim to have your revenge, is that it? Do you remember my husband? Ethan? How could I forget him? He referred you to me. He passed away, not long after the incident. He washed up in the harbor. They claim he took his own life. He'd no reason to do such a thing, and the guards never investigated further. Before the incident, well, it felt like he knew something. Then will you not investigate his death? Nothing begets nothing. Those are your words. Revenge is nothing, Oswald. It is empty and hollow. <sighs> Even so, I must go. Stenvar, Captain of the Guard. I must go to the outpost at which he's been stationed. Thinking top. Fire. All according to plan. Never failed to Axe attack to be done. I know no cure for evil.
Let the experiment begin. My prey awaits. Huh? Look at that! Take what I want. methods. Who are you? Huh. That bear-like build. Wait, I remember you. Oswald V. Vanstein. In the flesh. You're presumed dead in a botched escape attempt from Frigid Isle. I seek Harvey. Do you know where he is? Hmm. You met with him in secret before my family burned. None other than the late husband of Lady Clarissa attested as much. But you refused to hear him, and had him killed instead. In exchange for Harvey's coin, <laughs> my, my. You scholars certainly are a shrewd lot. I confess, I aided and abetted Harvey. Facts are malleable things, you see. The powerful can bend them to their will. Provided they have enough coin, that is.
I'm rather fond of coin. It can't be bent the same way, see? Hell, I'd do anything for it. It has given me all you see before you. <sighs> Quit stalling. Where is he? Wish I knew. Doesn't matter, though. I can't let you go. You know too much now. And that's not good for me. Ah, oh, yes. Of course. Oswald B. Vanstein, the tragic scholar. Let's see how malleable those bones of yours are. What a waste of time. Calculations can What to do? What to do? I have a talent for making do. Naughty deeds are not good in
my turn. Huh? You're open. I need a play. In pursuit of knowledge. Roar, thunder. Here I go. Mercy! Spare me my life! It is not your life I want. It's Harvey's. Where is he? I, I swear I don't know. I'm telling you the truth. Please believe me. Spare me your sniveling. You're sure he told you nothing? Oh, yes, that's right. I've just remembered something. The research he stole from you, it's been sent to Montwise. On Harvey's orders. Montwise? Has he taken it to the library there? My precious coin! Ah, but he's a careful man. He won't have left an obvious trail. Hmm. Did he know I would come for him? Montwise. A town on the eastern continent. The city where Harvey and I met. Harvey wanted Stenvar to tell me where he'd gone. That's why he let Stenvar live. He knew I would escape, that I would follow him. You want me to follow you, don't you, Harvey? If so, I'll play along. I'll fall right into your trap. Oswald. You're going after him, aren't you? I've done what I came here to do. You must not be seen with me. I remain a wanted man. But I am your loyal assistant. <sighs> My husband knew he was in danger. Before he died, he made me swear an oath. Bear no resentment against anyone, no matter what happens to me. Live your life for you. I wish to honor his memory. To forgive all transgressions against me. To devote what time I have left to study. How peculiar. Does an oath to the dead hold any meaning? No, I must confess. This is... This is simply a show of my love. Mm -hmm. 
Oswald, please. Your family rests in the ground. Will you not visit them? I forgot what love was a long time ago. I must find Harvey. That is everything. Oswald. <laughs>